Hi everyone. A couple of weeks ago on our Zoom class, uh, Laura Strada asked a very good question about poached eggs. If you didn't see it, here it is again. It doesn't matter, Laura wants to know, does it matter if the, if the eggs are room temperature or directly from the fridge? Uh, good question. Good question. I don't... You know what? I couldn't confidently answer that. I would say that probably in the fridge might be better because when we do the egg yolk at raviolis, we put the eggs in the fridge so they're a bit firmer so it doesn't break when you put the pasta over. But then I don't usually put eggs in the fridge anyway. Eggs usually stay out, so actually I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do though. I will look into it and I'll get back to you and I'll answer it. That is this was actually a really difficult question to find an answer on. There's little research out there about poached eggs from the fridge or not from the fridge. So what I ended up doing was reading a few academic papers about the viscosity of liquids and the, the temperature involved. So what I can see is that, yes, the egg in the fridge is slightly more viscous because it's cold than the egg from outside of the fridge. But the, 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 the viscosity is negligible. So whether it really makes a difference when you're poaching the egg or when you're not poaching the egg is unclear. So on that vein, we decided to test it for ourselves. We took two eggs, we put one in the fridge and we left one outside of the fridge. And they're both from the same batch. And then we poached them up. And you can see this footage right now. Now this was far from scientific conditions, but as you can see, our egg from the fridge did definitely set up faster and there was way less spread. It came out looking much, much better. So next time you poach your eggs, you might want to give that a try. See how it comes out for you. Now if you have a question that you've ever wanted to answer about cooking, you can leave it in the comments below or you can send it to us via a direct message if you want to remain anonymous and we will endeavor to answer them and maybe try a few of them out. Thank you very much, and until next time, keep cooking.